hello everyone i hope you are doing safe and healthy in this situation right now and most of you i know most of you are home and probably looking for a game and here is my top 10 free games of 2020 number 10 we have fortnite uh sitting in the lowest list because well it is fortnite and playing this game in the 20s is like a fucking daycare with all of the 14 years old playing this game but i have to admit that this game is pretty good for a free game number nine we have dauntless dauntless is also made by epic games and it is a monster hunter like game that you can play for free and it is pretty good so give it a go if you guys like monster hunter like games the abilities and the equipments are pretty unique and of course it plays really well in a poor PC, in a potato PC or in a high-end PC. Number 8 we have Pad of Exile, one of the largest MMORPG out there and it is a Diablo-like games and plays better than Diablo. This game still has a large player base and daily updates so Give it a go if you like asymmetric MMORPG. Number 7 we have Call of Duty Warzone. The recently released Battle Royale game Call of Duty Warzone is a good game and I personally like this more than Fortnite. And this game is super casual so if you guys suck at Battle Royale maybe this is the game for you. But you do need a decent PC to play this game because the visuals and the audio are amazing number six destiny 2 a free looter shooter in steam and still has a good player base after leaving activision bungie decided to make destiny 2 free to play and of course everyone is liking this game but if you want to get the expansion you still need to buy it but for free to play players there's a lot more content already in this game so you guys can enjoy it already maybe put some hundred hours to the game and grind your way up and then play the pvp number five albion online albion online is a sandbox mmorpg and it has a high player base so you won't be bored playing this game alone and of course not to mention the player base is said to be increasing every day of course they still update this game consistently and there will be more content coming soon to this game so there's no regret on trying this game if you like a sandbox MMORPG. Number 4, Apex Legends. I know this is another battle royale, but this game is so much better than the other battle royale. But you know, everyone has their own preference, so yeah. Number 3, Warframe. One of the biggest looter shooter ever and it is free. If you don't mind the grind, this game is really for you. It has a high player base, an active community, and the developers keeps on giving you new content for free. Well, how cool is that? Not to mention if you guys like a ninja and fast phase type of MMORPG and a dungeon crawler, this game is really for you. And of course, they have an open world content in this game. It is so good, right? Number 2, Dota 2. It is one of my favorite game, especially if you like a very hardcore and competitive game. Well, you know, it is Dota 2. Do I still need to explain Dota 2? Number 1. League of Legends Even though Dota 2 is my favorite game of all time, but I have to give and I have to admit the number one free to games is League of Legends. Why? Because League of Legends always giving you new champions, new modes to the game, new patches, and great cosmetics overall. Unlike Dota 2, where you only get a hero once a year when the international is going on. Yeah, that's kind of bullshit. And there's a lot of changes in League of Legends, which I really like and probably the best free-to-play game out there. And, you know, it is more relaxed than Dota 2, but then again, everyone has their own preference. So give it a go Dota 2 or League of Legends. We have some runner-ups and bonuses for you guys. Number 1, Valorant. Most anticipated FPS games when it was announced. It is from Riot Games, the one that make League of Legends. Well, it is out now in closed beta. So if you guys want to sign up for closed beta, maybe you can. 
maybe it is close again <laughs> but yeah Valorant is already out right there and right now at this date it is in close beta the second runner up it's Legends of Rune Terra the best card game out there and not pay to win unlike Hearthstone and you can get every cards out there it is just amazing how riot games is thinking about the consumer you know on how to get every card and making this game not pay to win the third runner-up it will be counter-strike global offensive why is csgo in the runner-up not in the list and as of right now i'm speaking csgo is the highest free to play fps games right now and the player base is just insane it goes up until 1 million every day but why is it in the runner-up? It is because this game has a fucking ton of cheaters. If you go free to play on this game, there's a lot, man. Oh my god, I just cannot stand how the cheaters in CSGO has like probably half of the population in CSGO player base right now. It is just insane, man. Even if you buy the Prime Pass in this game, you still find a lot of cheaters in the game man it is just insane how how this game this popular game has not yet developed a good anti-cheat software oh my god man it is insane well there you have it the top 10 free games of 2020 you should be playing right now in the quarantine situation and again thank you guys so much for watching the video i hope you enjoyed the list and honestly this is based mostly based on my opinion so take this with a grain of salt maybe if you guys don't like it then you know it's fine but this is my top 10 free games of 2020 and again thank you guys so much for watching the video and i will see you guys again on the next one peace out is not going to miss a beat do three with three shuts it down get to krieg upgrade as well and you don't want to put them in the hands of astralis because look what they'll do to you which setup we're seeing zipnix with a smoke he can pop that in but glaive is already taking fights and he's going to get one trade is in that's important for navi that smoke might deter them vice don't but know how that doesn't hit that looked dead on it did 10 damage wow perfecto is uh or simple rather is wearing some very heavy body armor there's the second time being a charm for device he's getting pressured from